guys, welcome to Toy Transformations. Today we're gonna turn these Lego Batman figures into Miguel, Imelda, Hector, and Ernesto de la Cruz from the movie Coco. This is gonna be the perfect transformation to celebrate the Day of the Dead. So stick with us, it's going to be so much fun! Let's start with Imelda. Take off the Joker's hair and then we're gonna use some air dry clay to make Imelda's hair bun. So shape it with your fingers like this. Then we're gonna use a modeling tool to add some details to her hair. Just draw some lines like this. Now we're gonna use some more air dry clay for her skirt. So grab a chunk of clay and wrap it around her waist like this. Then use your fingers to mold it. Now we're gonna use this modeling tool to give the skirt some texture. Draw a few lines in the bottom part for the pleats like this. Then you can add some wrinkles. Then we're gonna make her apron. Just attach a piece like this to the front of the skirt. Then trim off the excess with your modeling tool. Just like this. Let's move on to Hector. So remove the scarecrow's hat and grab a piece of air dry clay for his hair. Just like this. Then we're gonna make his head. Just flatten out a small clay ball like this. Then put another piece of clay on top. It has to be slightly pointy, just like this. Now use your fingers to mold and attach both pieces. Now we're gonna use the black up for modeling tool to poke the hole in the head. But don't go too deep, that should be enough. Now you can put the hat on. And we're gonna make a hat for Ernesto. This time we need to flatten out a bigger piece of clay, since Ernesto wears a big mariachi sombrero. Then attach the top part. Let's move on to Ernesto de la Cruz. We're gonna remove Joker's hair and use some air dry clay to give him that super old school hairdo that Ernesto has. Just remove the excess. And just like we did with Hector's, poke a hole in Ernesto's hat. Just like this? Then you can put his hat on. It's time to transform Batman into Miguel. Remove his mask and we're gonna use some air dry clay to make Miguel's hood. Cover his head like this, all the way to his shoulders. Now we're gonna make Miguel's guitar. We're gonna use some modeling clay for the body, so just shape it with your fingers like this. And don't forget about the guitar's neck. Just grab a long piece of clay and flatten it out just a little, like this. Then you can attach the neck to the guitar's body. There! Now just wait until the clay is dry. Let's go back to Imelda. Her hair is dry now, so we're gonna paint it with some black acrylic paint. Make sure you spread it evenly. Then we're gonna paint her skirt with this purple acrylic paint. Try not to paint the apron, so be extra careful. Then use the same purple paint for her top. Just like this. First the chest area and then you can paint the arms. And once you're finished with the dress, you can paint the apron. We will be using this shade of brown acrylic paint so it looks just like the one she wears in the movie. Then we're gonna paint her skin. Or should I say her bones? We're using this super pale sand colored paint that almost looks like white. Oh, and don't forget her hands. And then the legs. Now we need to paint a black triangle right in the middle of her chest. And with a super thin brush and the sand paint, we're gonna paint her bones. Just paint a thick line in the middle and three small ones coming out of it. Like this. Then from the other side. Let's also paint her shoes. Just use some black acrylic paint at the very bottom of the feet. Like this. Then we're gonna use some gold metallic paint and the tip of our modeling tool to add some details to the dress, like this. And let's also add a few details to the skin part of the dress, just like this. Let's also add the final touches to the apron. So we're gonna paint the straps like this, just go all around her waist. Now we have to paint Hector, let's start with his hair. We're gonna be using black acrylic paint and a thin brush, try not to paint the hat. Then we're gonna use this pale brown paint for the hat. Make sure you spread the paint evenly. We're gonna use this purple acrylic paint and a thin brush for his top. He's going to look pretty cool! Just wait and see! And let's use some of the brown paint for his pants, so they look more like the ones he wears in the movie. Now we can paint his face with some of the pale sun shade we used for Imelda. And we will be using the same color for his hands and feet. Good! 
Let's paint a big triangle with black acrylic paint right in the middle of the chest. This version of Hector is going to be quite cool! We can now paint his bones with the same color we use on his face and hands. You just gotta paint a few lines like this for the ribs and the spine. And we're gonna use some red acrylic paint for Hector's suspenders. Just paint two lines like this. And now let's move on to Ernesto de la Cruz. First, we need to paint his hair with some black acrylic paint. Just like this. Then we're gonna paint his head with some white acrylic paint. Make sure you spread the paint evenly. Now we're gonna paint his entire body white. We're gonna paint a super awesome mariachi suit for him later on. Let's add the ornaments on Ernesto's mariachi pants. We're gonna use an ultra fine black marker and we're gonna draw some zigzag lines like this on the sides of both legs. Then with some gold metallic paint, we're gonna add some more details to the pants. Just like this! It looks pretty cool! Just like a real mariachi suit! Let's use some more of the gold metallic paint for the pockets and some details on the mariachi jacket. Then we gotta add the details to the hat with the same gold paint that we've been using. Like this. Then we can paint his face with the pale sand color we've used for the other characters. Then you can paint his hands and feet. After we painted these black details with black paint, we're gonna paint his bones with the same color we use for his face. So just paint a few lines like this. And now it's time to paint Miguel! Let's start with his hoodie. Now we're gonna use some red acrylic paint. You just have to go like this. Then we're gonna use some dark blue acrylic paint for his jeans. He's gonna look pretty cool! Now let's paint his t-shirt with some white paint. You just have to paint a thick line in the middle of his chest, like this. And for the details of the hoodie, we're gonna paint a white stripe all along the sleeve. We're gonna paint his hands with the paint sand color. Just like this. And for his face, we're gonna use some white acrylic paint. We're gonna add some details to the hoodie by painting the pockets with a slightly darker shade of red. Pretty sweet, huh? Then let's paint his guitar. Use some white paint and a thin brush like this. With an ultra fine marker, draw the whole of the guitar and the details like the bridge and the strings. And this is how it should look once you're finished! It's time to paint Imelda's face. First, we need to paint two black circles for the eyes and a triangle for the nose. Then we're gonna be using this super bright shade of pink for her lovely lips. Now we're gonna use the pale sand color to paint two circles inside the black ones. Make sure you leave a black contour like this. And finally, paint two tiny black dots right in the middle of the eyes, like this. And here we have Imelda! You back home! Welcome! Any wow! She looks pretty cool with her purple dress and her apron. I think she looks just like in the movie. Now we're gonna paint Hector's face. Let's start with the two black circles, just like we did with Imelda, with the difference that Hector's eyes are closer to each other. Then we're gonna paint his nose and his mouth, just like this. Now, the two pale sand circles for the eyes. And finally, the tiny black dots in the middle of the eyes. And here we have Hector! You know, I wrote her a song once. We used to sing it every night, at the same time, no matter how far apart we were. He looks pretty cool with a hat and the suspenders. We also painted some patches on his jacket to make it look worn out. Now it's time to paint Ernesto de la Cruz's face. So we're gonna do the same for the eyes, start with the two black circles, then we can paint his nose and his mouth with a big smile. Now the two pale circles inside the black ones. And finally the tiny black dots to finish the eyes. And here we have the great Ernesto de la Cruz. Miguel, uh, my reputation, it is <laughs> very important to me. I love his mariachi suit. It has so many details and makes him look like a Mexican movie star from the 50s. Let's finish Miguel! We're going to paint two black circles for his eyes. 
Then let's paint his nose and his mouth. And now two white circles inside the black ones. And two tiny black dots for his eyes. Finally, let's use some clear glue to attach his guitar to his hand. Like this. And here we have Miguel disguised as a skeleton. Who's in there? I'm sorry. What's going on? Uh, I'm just dreaming. Ah! I really like the details of his hoodie and of course his super awesome guitar. Well guys, that was it for today. Here we have our four transformations from the movie Coco, made out of Lego Batman figures. Here's Ernesto La Cruz with his awesome mariachi suit and his sombrero. This is Miguel with his guitar. Then we have Imelda with that lovely dress. And finally, we have Hector with his hat and suspenders. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We love you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.